In this episode we're going to have a bit of a look inside of the Santa Maria Novella Basilica but also the oldest pharmacy in the world and probably the most beautiful pharmacy in the world the Santa Maria Novella Pharmacy. So the whole perfume scene here in Florence goes back for centuries and in fact the Santa Maria Novella Pharmacy still produce the same perfume that they produced about 600 years ago. Expat Lifestyle with Bats, please. Thumbs up, subscribe, bell notifications on. I hope you enjoy this episode. Buongiorno. Good morning. Now, today, we're going to explore the Santa Maria Novella Basilica. This church is up there with the Duomo and the Santa Croce Basilica, for sure. And it's quite closely linked to the development of the apothecary, pharmacies, and perfume. So, I am in the Piazza di Santa Maria Novella. And there's the Basilica directly in front of me. It's a lovely piazza, this one. So I'll just give you a, a bit of a, a look around. It's encircled by some lovely little boutique um, hotels, some nice restaurants too. It's a nice spot. And for many of you arriving in Florence by train, this will be the first basilica or church that you will see because it's literally about 200 metres from the Santa Maria Novella Stazioni, the train station. And we can see the lantern of the Duomo through there, can't we? Just to give you some context of how close these beautiful churches are within Florence. And just turning to my left, here we are, the Santa Maria Novella Basilica. And that's where we're going in today. And you'll be pleased to know my resident card gets me in for free. Oh, I just love that. So an entry into the Santa Maria Novella Basilica will be seven euro and fifty cents, whereas the Santa Maria Novella Pharmacy, you'll be pleased to know, it's free entry into there. The Basilica of Santa Maria Novella was founded by the Dominican Order in the early 13th century and the construction of the church began in 1279. Santa Maria Novella is renowned for its stunning Gothic architecture. It features a beautiful facade adorned with intricate marble designs and frescoes. The interior of the church is equally impressive with elegant columns, stained glass windows and frescoes by renowned artists. The Medici family, who ruled Florence during the Renaissance, were significant patrons of the Basilica. They commissioned various artistic additions and renovations, including the famous crucifix by Brunelleschi and the magnificent frescoes in the Green Cloister. Now, the entrance ticket gives access to the entire Santa Maria Novella monumental complex, allowing you to visit not only the Basilica, but also all of the Dominican spaces and cloisters, including the famous green cloister, which contains frescoes by Uccello, the Spanish chapel, frescoed by Boniotto, and the cloister of the dead. And this cloister here is known as the cloister of the dead. It's one of the oldest parts of the Santa Maria Novella Basilica. So we're going back to the uh, 13th century now in here. This, this cloister is known as the Green Cloister, mainly due to the fact that the frescoes that were painted along the walls were predominantly of a green colour. And this door here leads into the Santa Maria Novella Pharmacy, the oldest pharmacy in the world, and from what I've read, the most beautiful pharmacy in the world, with origins back to the 13th century. The Dominican monks that lived here in the basilica, wood would have their herb gardens and 
they experimented and made medicinal products to help with their own personal healing and in time they became quite well known and their products were in demand not only in Florence but throughout Europe and bubonic plague where flower petals were used again for the antiseptic qualities to try and combat the plague now that was unsuccessful but that led to the development of perfume and the whole perfumery industry really took off in the 16th century here in Florence and hasn't looked back. So the Basilica of Santa Maria Novella, it's an interesting one. How does this rate in terms of Duomo and Santa Croce? The negative, I guess, is there's a ambulance station that you can see there over to the left, but, but, it's got the greenery in the middle, hasn't it, of the piazza, which is really nice. And also, lots of seating, as you can see over there too. A bit of a point of difference. Um, but it's fairly busy because it's close to the train station. You get a lot of through traffic too. Lovely restaurants, lovely boutique hotels. But I'm standing firm with my <laughs> ranking. Duomo number one, Santa Croce number two. And look, I'm going to put the um, San Lorenzo Basilica in front of this basilica here. I'm sorry if that's offended some, but um, so I'm putting the Santa Maria Novella Basilica at number four in Florence. That's just my own opinion personally. So from this basilica, the Santa Maria Novella, we're going to now walk to the oldest pharmacy in the world and probably one of the most beautiful pharmacies in the world. And the entrance is right here. So let's go in and check it out. It smells nice too. And the first thing that really strikes you in here is the beautiful aroma. It really is lovely to take in. Mm, that's nice. So this is the original 13th century pot puri and I believe when I go home and it smells really nice, <laughs> apparently this is it. I didn't know that. Um, it smells really good. It's spicy, sweet, fragrant. I like it. And this is what you can do. You can come in and just... Oh, that's good. And look, by the way, 20, 20 euro. Now, another great item I, I like. I buy these all the time. <laughs> not, not really. My wife does. These are little wax sort of tablets that you can hang in the wardrobe and my wife does do that uh, they're great and these are about about the same price I believe okay that's something would be very very handy This is good. These are room fragrant um, diffusers, I guess. This particular bottle is about 80 euro. Uh, the room fragrance, lovely. It's 
So now I'm at the um, Saponi, our soaps. I'm very excited. This is great, isn't it? I like, I like this one, which is a, a mint. Oh, it feels like you want to eat it, actually. Now the soaps range from, I think, the uh, latte, the plain milk soap, from about 12 euro up to about 25 euro. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so I'm at the uh, cologne section. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't really wear the colognes, but same principle. We have a... Does it speak to me? Not really, but I will tell you that the price, it's about 85 euro, okay? So this is the original Katerina perfume, cologne, that Katerina had made up for her as she was marrying the um, future king of France, really to disguise the bad smells that most people had during the medieval period of time. Now the Santa Maria Novella Pharmacy have little outlet shops like the one you can see behind me there. Same products by the way, same prices, it's just a little small outlet shop and I'll show you a little bit more inside and exactly where this one is. So this outlet shop is directly opposite Gilly as a cycling tour group go past. There's the carousel and here is the Santa Maria Novella outlet shop. Okay, quite small but as you can see same products. And now I'm in Tornaboni, the fashion street of Florence. And behind me you can see another uh, shop that's connected to the Santa Maria Novella Pharmacy. So once more, same products, same prices, another option for you. Okay, so let's have a closer look. It looks similar, doesn't it, the shop front. As I said, um, same, same product range, but minus the crowds of the original Santa Maria Novella pharmacy. Let's go and have a quick look. So here we have the original cologne made for Caterina Medici who was going to marry the King of France, the future King of France and she wanted a, a fragrance to take with her to France and so this was made in 1533 and you can buy this exact same cologne or perfume right here in this shop and the um, original Santa Maria Novella Pharmacy over at the Basilica as well. This is a lovely shop, not as crowded, and the assistants here are wonderful. We've had, just had a nice chat. And the same prices. Same soaps. That's oh, lovely, isn't it? Okay, so I've got another great option for you. Let's visit an independent perfumery, and there's quite a few in the in the Florence area. So to provide you some context, the Ponte Vecchio in the background, I'm east of that, and we're going to head to San Nicolo, and we're going to take you to an independent perfumery, which will allow you an opportunity to be more one-on-one -on -one with the experts, the masters, and they will design a perfume for you based on your own individual uh, likes and dislikes, I guess. And of course, the added benefit of walking to this perfumery is that we get to enjoy the beautiful architecture. Now the laneway up here is Via San Nicolo and we turn left. And it's only about 150 metres long where we get to this, this perfumery. Now this laneway via San Nicolo takes us through San Nicolo obviously but it also is the main thoroughfare that most people take to get up to Piazzale Michelangelo, that beautiful lookout that was designed in the mid 1800s by Giuseppe Porgi and that's well worth a visit to. And behind me is the independent perfumery, there are a few around Florence and I encourage you also to explore this option. Let's go in and have a look. 
Right, so the staff here are so, so welcoming and helpful. Now, if you were to book a, an individual session, you would be sitting in the master chair and um, I guess you just communicate the types of fragrances you like. And you've got a few to pick from. And ultimately we're working towards this bottle being filled with the fragrance or the fragrances that you've decided is the perfume that will match your individual tastes. You get a certificate and so on as well. How good's that? Um, consultation here, we sit down with the, the experts here and they, with you, decide the ingredients that you're going to select. So a one-on-one -on -one is about 250 euro. And I will, in the comments below, put down their contact details. So it's in San Nicolo. And I know my wife is going to be coming here for her birthday next month. Just wonderful. Grazie mille. Okay. Ciao. Ciao, thank you. Hey, so wasn't that a, a great experience? What an indulgence. Now your um, get your guide, trip advisor, be a tour. They all have tours, organised tours to a perfumery. Uh, you'd be with small groups and that's about 70 euro um, per person. Or you go to one of those private perfumeries like I've just shown you. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more, but you get that personalised, individual attention. Something to think about, isn't it? What an experience. Buonasera. I'm in Giocosa. It's a new bar, a new building, but the bar itself goes back to the mid-1800s. It's a bit like Gilly Cafe. Hey, look at this. Nice little spritz. Salute. And... And I hope you like my episode today. As always, thumbs up, subscribe, double notifications on. I'll see you next episode. Ciao.